This is Amber Bell from Cal Business Solutions. Today's topic is using Dynamics GP help features. So what I want to make sure today that you know how to do is to use the built-in help features from the system. So my favorite feature is actually very easy to use. So for example, let's say that I'm going to go ahead and open the payables transaction entry window. And I have that under my quick links and we cover setting up quick links in another one of our videos. So here I am in my payables transaction entry window and I want to learn how to enter a new transaction and I can't remember anything from training. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and hit the F1 key. So that's the function key right above your number one. We're going to hit that. And on here, if I want to learn how to do a credit memo or a return, you'll see that there's an icon or there's a link right here. And this gives me the navigation. It tells you what you need to fill in, how to apply. You can go in here and it tells you about applying. And it basically gives you a step-by-step -step on how to enter a credit memo in payables. This F1 feature works throughout the system and it works really well. So for example, if I was in vendor maintenance, here I am, hit F1. This goes through adding vendor cards, placing a vendor on hold, deleting, viewing their activity. So if I wanted to, to place a vendor on hold, I could click here. And this will give me just a really quick step-by-step. -step. So if you can find the window that you're trying to use, just hit F1 and you'll be able to use that help. Now if you can't find the window, for example, let's say you got a message that a batch went into batch recovery and you don't know where that window is, Click the blue question mark in the top right corner of your screen and we're going to go to index or contents, either one, and I'm going to type in batch recovery. And you'll see as I type it's going to go ahead and say continuing interrupted batches or continuing batches posted with errors. I get my exact navigation here and I get how to use that window. We're going to go ahead and close that. Now let's say that you need to know everything there is to know about payables or bank rec or something in the system and you want to read about it. We're going to go ahead and click that a blue question mark again. And halfway down it says printable manuals. We're going to click that. And what we're going to get here is we're going to get a list of the available manuals. Let's say, for example, I need to start using the bank reconciliation module. I'm going to click financial, bank reconciliation. It's going to open. And here I am. I'm going to look and see this has transactions, how to do deposits. I'm going to click that. And we're going to do entering a deposit with receipts. And this will give me how to do that and it actually gives me the navigation and a screenshot. So there's quite a bit that's built into GP. For more great Dynamics GP tips and tricks, visit www.calzone.com tips and sign up for our monthly e-newsletter.